In this video, we're going to take a look at the addition of fractions having common denominators, and that's when the denominators are the same in both fractions. We're going to dive right in with an example here. Uh, our example says add, write your answers in lowest terms. We always want to write our answers in lowest terms when we're doing these fraction questions. And here's our example, 7 over 10 plus 1 over 10. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put our equal sign right beside it. Um, and then I'm going to write 7 plus 1 just as an addition statement on its own. And I'm going to put that all over top of 10, our denominator. Now, at this point, it becomes a little bit easier to solve the whole problem because we can just go ahead and complete our addition statement. We know that 7 plus 1 is 8. The bottom isn't changing at all, so it's, we get 8 over 10. And this is answered. This is correct. But what we forgot to do here is put our answer into lowest terms. And the way that we do this is we look for that greatest common factor in both the denominator and the numerator, and we divide them both by that. So I know that my greatest common factor between 8 and 10 is 2, so I'm going to divide both by 2. And I know that 8 divided by 2 is 4, 10 divided by 2 is 5, and I've got my answer for my first example. Let's try this again with a second example. Exact same instructions as last time. Add, write your answer in lowest terms. We have 4 over 9 plus 2 over 9. Just like last time, the first thing that we're going to do is rewrite our numerators as an addition statement. So we have 4 plus 2. We're going to put that over top of the same denominator we started out with, so over 9 in this case. I'm going to solve my addition statement in my numerator. 4 plus 2 is equal to 6. And the bottom, the numerator stays the, or the denominator, sorry, stays the same. So we have 6 over 9. Now, again, I need to look for lowest terms, which this is not in because I know 3 goes into both 6 and 9. So I'm going to divide both the top and the bottom by 3. My result is going to be 6 divided by 3 is 2, and 9 divided by 3 is 3. So here is my answer in lowest terms, 2 thirds. Let's go ahead and sum up all the steps of solving an addition problem with fractions that have common denominators. Our first step is to write the, both the numerators as an addition statement above the original denominator. Our second step is to complete that addition statement in the numerator. Our third statement is to put our final answer into lowest terms.